Global warming, climate change, and particularly greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, can have an impact on the nutrient content of plant foods that we eat. Rice is the case in point. And this can have devastating effects on the rice-consuming countries where about 70% of the calories and most of the nutrients come from rice. Rice is extremely important to countries in Southeast Asia, especially the poor ones. Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos. There, most of the calories and many of the nutrients come from rice. In this study, rice was an indicator, and a very good one. So here we have a natural experiment, a natural problem, with the nutrient value of rice potentially declining. There are ways of remedying that, and here biofortification, fortification, changing behavior are among the options. You may think that a healthy diet would be rice and green, leafy green vegetables, but in fact people in the highlands of Vietnam who consume that suffer from all kinds of deficiencies, including calcium. So actually having some milk or cheese or yogurt is not a bad idea. The critical issue here is that rice is an indicator crop for other potential problems down the road with other crops. The controlled carbon dioxide emission paradigm gives us an insight into what might be happening with climate change. And then the worry for us is, as always, vegetables and fruit. What do we do to protect the nutrient density of vegetables and fruit?